Hey everyone, it's Eric, and today I have a huge Goose Creek candle haul for you. We've got a great show for you today! This is from their $8.99 sale that they had several weeks back. Uh, it would have been at the beginning of June, basically when Bath & Body Works started their semi-annual sale. Goose Creek had a $8.99 candle sale going on at the same time, so I definitely took advantage of it. Uh, the candles got shipped to me in two different orders or two different shipments and it took a while to get all the candles here. I got them all here about a week and a half ago. Finally! It's about time! It's about time! Just haven't really had time to film them till today. So uh, I wanted to get this out yesterday on Sunday, but I ended up going to the Cleveland Metro Parks Zoo. Uh, so we went to the zoo yesterday, had a lovely time. The weather was perfect. It was like 72, sunny, kind of breezy, and that type of temperature where it's not too hot. The animals uh, tend to be more active, so it was a lot of fun to see all the animals. Plus they had uh, their lantern festival at the zoo going on. We didn't stay for the uh, lantern festival that evening, but they have them up all day long they're everywhere so I'll put a few photos at the end of this video if you want to see some of the uh, photos from yesterday at the zoo you guys well then let's get the party started so let's get into this haul a lot of candles to talk about from Goose Creek so the first candle that I picked up I this is a repurchase the first one's a repurchase I picked up two more of these peanut butter vanilla candles from their cupcakes collection I really like this candle, you guys. It's not the strongest candle in the world. I'd give it kind of like a medium, medium light throw, but you really can smell peanut butter on this candle, so I really like that. And since we don't have a whole lot of peanut butter candles out there right now, this one will fit the bill. Uh, this is your vanilla sugar, creamy peanut butter, sweet dough, and buttercream. You really do smell that sweet, creamy peanut butter on this candle. I don't really get so much the dough part, but the peanut butter, the vanilla, that kind of a sweet, creamy fragrance comes through. Really nice and also smells really good once you burn this candle. So we have two of those. And then I picked up this Book by the Lake. It's one of the candles from the Wilderness Collection that I did not haul when I did the uh, Wilderness Collection video. So there were two candles in that haul that I did that I didn't pick up. So this is one of the candles I didn't get from that collection because the scent notes to me just didn't sound all that appealing. Uh, this one is Cool Lake Waters, Summer Breeze, Lotus Blossom, and Sun-Drenched Woods. I am glad I picked this one up, you guys. So it does have kind of like a summer fragrance to it. It smells kind of like you're down by the waterside by a lake. <laughs> Kind of has that feel to it. I was really nervous with that lotus blossom scent note in there that it'd be really floral, but it's not at all. I also get kind of like a melon rind fragrance on this, kind of like the watermelon rind. Uh, not watermelon, but just the rind itself. It kind of has that kind of a fragrance in there. But it just smells very summery to me, so I'm really glad I picked this one up. And then the other one I picked up from the same collection, from that Wilderness collection, was Campfire Cuddle. I hadn't got this one yet either. This is your Wool Blanket Warm Amber Cozy Vanilla Cashmere and Cedar. Yeah, and this one I'm glad I picked up too because I really like this. So it's got kind of like a musky vanilla fragrance. And that cedar gives it a little bit of a woodsiness. But there's something else in there, and I don't know if that's like the cashmere, cashmere. or the wool blanket fragrance note, but I, don't, I, I can't place it, but it just smells real cozy to me. I really like the scent of this. It reminds me of their candle book adventure that they did. It kind of reminds me of that candle. Not identical, but it kind of does remind me of book adventure. And I liked Book Adventure. Book Adventure, though, was a little on the light side, so hopefully uh, this will be a little bit stronger. 
And the next candle is also a repurchase for me. I got another brown sugar churros. Now, I ordered this candle before burning my first brown sugar churros. So while this was in transit, I went ahead and burned my other brown sugar churros and was going to do a candle review on it. And it smells so good on cold, you guys. This candle smells so good on cold, but when you burn it, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know where the fragrance goes. It was just almost non-existent. It was very, very disappointing to the point where I didn't even want to talk about it, you guys. What? I didn't even want to talk about it. So I totally, you know, just totally um, threw out the candle review. I just was like, I'm not even going to bother putting this on the channel because it was so disappointing. I just figured I could tell you right now, this candle is a very light throw to it. But on cold, smells amazing. Your scent notes are cinnamon stick, drizzled caramel, fried dough, sweet maple, pecan, sweet brown sugar, and whipped vanilla. I mean, with fragrance notes like that, how can you go wrong? Well, you can. Oklahoma. I mean, on cold, this smells perfect for the fall. You get the fried dough, the brown sugar, the maple. It smells so good and yummy. But when I went and burned this candle the other week, I don't know. I, I couldn't smell it. So I figure what I'll do, since I have two of them now, I'll just burn them both at the same time and hopefully uh, get some extra fragrance off of that candle. But that will not be a repurchase for me. No, clever. And then the next candle is this Banana Cabana Beach. And I do like the uh, wraparound jar style for this one. It's real tropical looking, like you're on vacation. This is your Banana, Tangerine, Coconut, and Sea Breeze. So immediately smelling this, you guys, um, I can tell you right now, this is like almost identical, on cold anyways, it's almost identical to um, Bath and Body Works Under the Sun that we had this summer. So these two are very comparable to each other. Yeah, so it smells really good. You get the banana, coconut in there. It's kind of got that tropical feel with that sea breeze scent. I don't get the tangerine so much, but I do get the banana and the coconut and kind of like that oceany sea breeze fragrance. And then it has this really pretty uh, yellow wax, you guys. So that one sounds, that one smells nice, you guys. Next, we have Old Time Lemonade, and I do love like sugary lemonade type fragrances. Tastes like good old fashioned lemonade. This is your lemon, light pineapple, sparkling water, and sugar. You get a lot of lemon. It smells just like sugary lemonade, you guys. You get that tartness. Not too tart, not too sweet. Mm. I don't get the pineapple. I'm not quite sure why they list pineapple. I've never put pineapple in my lemonade when I've made it at home. But you do get that lemon, the sugar, it's tart, sweet. It smells really, really good, you guys. With natural lemon flavor. And the next candle is this blueberry cheesecake. So my friend Tanya told me about this candle and she loves this blueberry cheesecake. So she told me that apparently Yankee Candle had this blueberry scented candle some time ago that they no longer make and she absolutely loved it. So when she got this, she said it smells a lot like some blueberry candle from Yankee Candle. I don't own any Yankee candles, so I'm not quite sure what she was talking about. Like, I don't remember the name she told me on it. Oh, thank you for sharing that. Thank you. But uh, she said it smells really good. This blueberry cheesecake smells really good. What is it? Cheesecake. Your scent notes on it are wild blueberries, fruit filling, pie crust, and cream cheese. Yeah, you do get the blueberry, and there is kind of like a berry scent note, all like overall, like a berry pie filling scent note. And there is kind of like a cream cheese scent in there, yeah. I don't get the crust though, but it does smell good on cold, so hopefully Tanya won't steer me wrong with this candle, So, and I don't think she would. So, excited to try that one. Oh, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> and then I also picked up Marshmallow Waffle Cone. This is your fluffy marshmallow, warm vanilla bean, butter, and waffle cone. Mm, you get a lot of waffle cone on this one. And it is very buttery. 
The vanilla isn't as strong as I thought it would be. It's the marshmallow's a little on the light side too, but that waffle cone and the butter seem to be the stronger scent notes on cold. It smells super, super yummy, you guys. And then I also got this Tiki Party. I love the uh, wraparound jar style on this one with the tiki torches. This is your mango, lychee, coconut, and beechwood. Mm. So you get the mango, the coconut. This smells very comparable to Bath and Body Works Sunset in Maui. It smells so good. I love Sunset Maui. So this this isn't identical, but it's it's pretty comparable to it. Real nice fruity tropical fragrance on this. So I definitely like this tiki party. It smells great. I'm cold. Oh, I'm getting it. Rich. I'm getting it. Oh, and then the wax is kind of like a, a kind of like a mango-y colored wax there. We really like that as well. I picked up two of these apple cheesecake cupcakes. A viewer had suggested I try this candle out because I've never tried this one before. And I do love my foodie scented candles. This is your Gala Apple Cake Batter Cheesecake Custard and Vanilla Buttercream Icing. Mmm, you get a lot of apple on that. Like a nice sweet apple. Some vanilla. There's definitely something foodie going on in there, but I'm not sure doesn't really smell like cheesecake so much on cold, but it smells really good. And it's got this really pretty just kind of apple green wax. So I'm excited to try this one out. The next candle I picked up, you guys, I don't know why I bought this because I'm not super big on floral candles, but I picked up the Ocean Blooms. I think I just got kind of a little carried away with these candles because of that $8.99 sale price. So this is your Jasmine, Rose, Beach Flowers, and Woods. This is very floral, so you get a lot of rose and jasmine. Rose, as in a series of seats in a movie theater. <laughs> but there's like a beachy scent in there, like that sea spray fragrance in with the floral. Kind of reminds me of being like, at a rose garden along a beach if there was such a thing. And then it has this uh, really pretty just kind of a lavender colored wax. So if you like your rose scented candles, you want something summery with like a little bit of that sea spray, this is a good candle I would think for that. And then the last candle I picked up was this Ocean Breeze. I really like the jar style on this as well. This is your Fresh Air Sea Spray Jasmine and Beach Flowers. So this has that fresh air ocean fragrance. There is a slight jasmine scent in there, but it's not very floral. Just nice and beachy. And what's nice about this one, it's not cologne-y at all. Sometimes you get that cologne scent with those ocean air candles. Mm -mm. This one's just nice and oceany. No cologne, and just slightly, slightly floral. It's like very, very light. I really like how this smells, and it's got this just really pretty light blue wax. So that is the Goose Creek Candle Haul, you guys. It was such a good deal with that $8.99 price. I couldn't resist buying these candles. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these candles and what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. And I'm just going to put a few zoo pictures up here now just to show you kind of what the uh, Cleveland Metro Park Zoo is like. A lot of them have the lantern uh, photos in them. And so if you do live in the Cleveland area, definitely check out the zoo this year for the Lantern Festival.
I was a reindeer, this is where I would 